We'll see how it all plays out. Looking at the buy here, JNT for Util. The other four for Sharks, all just with the Glocks and armor. Over towards Anonymo, there's a kit double flash for Kyla. And the other four boys all with that body armor as well. And a sense of urgency towards this B-bomb site as well with the grouped up approach coming through. The single flash, smoke over, a lot of work for Snacks. So he's going to have to really dial back what he has, as far as territory goes, is... The rest of the crew arrive now in short here. They're going to try and retake this. They don't have market presence just yet, though. So this is going to be rough for them. Yeah, having a look at playing their advantage, playing the range with those USPs. It's worked for two already. Rylan down to 19 HP. Ooh. Oh, Zevi in a very rough Ooh. position. And it's just up to JNT. He's got four anonymous players to get past. At least he's gone past the first window. Oh. But he's got a few more heads that he has to tap. Second one not going to connect, but it's going to be innocent. A very solid start to map two after having a spectacular showing on Vertigo. Smart play from Snacks too. Realized he was going to be overwhelmed quite quickly. Needed to keep control of short. That's where the stage was for Anonymous retake. Late market presence comes through, but it doesn't matter anyway. The running USP deletes the player in Africa. Yeah. And from then, Sharks just fell. They capitulated. And they're going to go the hero buy in terms of uh, AK and Glue coming through. That bomb plant has just been enough for them. Buy into this. Now, because Anonymo have invested in rifles, I don't know how effective... They're going to be without utility. Nade no, not quite hitting the mark. Of course, the damage from those guns just slowing the push down. So the HE didn't go as far as expected. Sharks, though, using Pank very early on. This man, I believe he had a bit of utility there before falling, so won't have that to set the boys up for success. We've got edging up short here with reels and looking to potentially turn this into some form of B split. They still have JNT lurking at the back of apps. So these positions, it looks like it could be successful. Rylan here at get right, able to be first contact if the bomb does come this direction. Now, let's just see whether or not this crossfire is going to be effective at B. They have snacks at the bench and there Ooh. we go. There's one element removed. However, snacks is going to reposition as Innocent chimes in quite nicely. And Sharks has just funneled into this B-bomb site. The bomb is down, so they've got 40 seconds to work with, and they're going to have to fight their way out. It's going to be so difficult for Zevi now. Ooh, swing comes through. Snacks going to fall, and Zevi hunting for Ooh. a few more heads, which you'll find. Cops a bink of his own, though, sending them down to 9 HP. And this bomb plant going to be important going forward. So at least they get that. Kyla late on the flank, but it's better late than never. Picking up a second for Anonimo. And while all that was happening, Jim, I don't know if you saw it or not, but Kyla actually pushed through a main and they knew that it was going to be that B-site hit. So hence the stack coming over and the trades coming through. Yeah, it was quite smartly played, though, in the initial instances that Crossfire was quite effective with Snacks, able to get away from Brent Bench 2 and was able to reposition. So, yeah, big info play coming through from Anonimo. Big mm. risk to take, though, on an anti-eco round like that. But it does come off. And Sharks just to get the bomb plant, so they're just going to buy down and try and keep their money around that $2,000 mark with the loss bonus coming through. But you would suspect an AWP will come out at some stage. Yeah. Anonimo managing to carry across two AKs. To round three. Sharks, even with that plant, they've just opted for the safer approach going for pistols instead. No smoke at window, and oh, a nice time for Moly, but an even better time to peek from Snatchy, at least for the first JNT, holding his ground with the Deagle. Tapping the head, Snacks up on the balcony, not going to be spotted by either player coming through apartments. And Pank now, he threw all that util. Anonimo have an inkling onto where he was coming from. And it looks like they are happy just to play retake on that A site. Yeah. I mean, if he gets a bomb plant here, that's that's a bonus for Sharks, right? Yeah. So he's going to be able to do so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Oh. He even picks up Kyla. This okay. is getting better by the second. Well, Planted default, though. Goes to Tetris. If he does let the Anonymo players on site, then he could be in trouble. We'll see if he... Opts to face here. Snack swinging in from CT. Clearing out default. Clearing out all those angles. And it is Ooh. going to connect the first Deagle shot, but not where it needed to, which was Snacks' head. Snacks connects right back and wins the round for Anonymo. Defuse coming through to secure a 
third. Solid start so far. Only two casualties here. So the economy, yeah, it's going to be a little all over the place for Anonymo. And Sharks moving into yet another gun round could maybe turn the tides. Yeah, now I would expect Zevi to pick up that orb as well. As the, the Deagles do some damage. Mm. But the real breadwinner was that bomb plant on A for free. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, Zevi picking up that orb. He's going to have to try and fashion some openings. Snatchy transitioning across to the AWP now with his repurchase into the round. So I'm already liking the way that this duel is going to be set up. I'm just curious as to where they will position Zebi as to whether or not he will be able to open up in round. So they're just going to go for that standard mid take. And you can just see Anonymo. They're not too interested in it for now. They're not trying to contest it. Happy to let Sharks just progress up mid and hopefully try and bait them into some crossfires. Rallin just gazing over the smoke on short. Early boost there from Snacks, who's not too worried about apartments. Sharks in positions to make it look like we are going to see an A split in through mid. Slow approach as we head to the minute mark. Sharks going to mid round their way with a window smoke. Rallin is hoping to spot something. Luca not spotting the man up on top as reels in will survive, but Zeb be sharp as attack. Man, he's got that man advantage for Sharks. And they're just going to walk through that smoke into the A-bomb site. Great work from Kyla to take control of the a round. The bomb just rolls down those stairs, and now they're going to try and take control of CT spawn. However, this is going to get messy. Snatchy is not aware of this push. Whoa. Or is he? He's clearing it out. Can't quite connect. And Sharks now back in with a very good shot. Zevi, though, he's left the bomb behind, clearing a main line. Luca connects, but are they going to expect the second man here? Snacks. He's usually over towards that B side, but the Bianca now just smashes away out a main. Luca connects. And Snacks now down to 21 HP oh, on the re peak. Luca holds down oh, the fort. Oh. And the double, uh, the AWP setup works out. I think I thought it was going to be a double AWP because Luca had the AWP and then they swapped it all around. Either way, uh, there you have it. Sharks with their first round after purchasing up a few pretty weapons. I thought the A ramp push from Anonymo was going to be the recipe yeah. for success, but Young Sharks, aka YNG Sharks, it's tempting to say it, isn't it? But the yeah. fact that they pushed through Murder Hole into CT spawn, that was a round winning play, to be honest. It really did just create a sense of disarray Ooh. as Zevi beats Innocent via the spawn. So. This force by coming through from Anonymo already has to do it with one less player as Rowan is trapped here in underpass. And he's going to be overwhelmed. He does do some body damage to Luca, but this is a really tough situation here for Anonymo as Snatchy goes down a window quite cheaply. And now this is Sharks just grouping up in mid, taking jewels, and it's nothing fancy, but it's working in these anti eco situations. I say anti eco. Yeah. But they've forced him with everything they could buy. That's the one. And the key piece of the puzzle is in the hands of Snacks right here. Going towards Ninja. Sneaky line. Waiting for that A main push. And also just dance around here and clear out stairs. Spot anyone trying to cross into jungle. And Sharks, they're squeezing every second here. Walking straight into the trap. But Pank, oh, spots one of the two remaining players. And with Kyler in power, Sharks think it's an open site. Snacks on the opposite side to what they would expect. There's the off angle, but how's the trades to come through? Will they? They will. JNT connecting. Uh, shooting back from jungle. And Sharks only taking, was it one casualty in the end? Mm, only one. So the city economy is still just... In that really awkward position, they face that reset. So there's a good chance now for Sharks to continue to just pile on the hurt. Mm. Going to start streaking away some rounds. But I like the way that Sharks are approaching it. And there's nothing fancy about these rounds here. Like the last round, they were just grouping up in mid, taking jewels. They knew that they weren't going to encounter too much utility. So it's best to just get your weapons out and, and take the fight in that instance. And that's exactly what they did. It was no frill CS. Airstrike at con. No CTs there to connect upon, though. 
and Sharks again. They're just really loving this slow approach towards the mid control. Tank spotting Kyler getting a bit big for his boots there, but that's big info. Now, of course, might just force Pank to use some extra util to reclaim a main. However, it's just a wrap back into Pal. Very heads up to read this all happening. And as it does, Sharks, they're going to start to make their way back towards a main. Kyler playing cat and mouse at the moment. And we'll see <laughs> if he manages to thread the needle with the deagle around the corner. JNT at the ready. And that's going to be one man falling. Four for Anonymo. Now looking just to stack over towards B and save what they have into the next. Yeah, just that armor on stacks and rally is prime real estate for them, to be honest. And more importantly, give some time to talk about what they're going to do in the next few rounds. Of course, big investment coming through here from Snacks and Rallon. So the loss bonus is going to provide them with, to be honest, very little in the way of weaponry and utility. So they either have to make that choice. Mm. If they're going to buy into this next round, it's going to be on the back of fairly poor utility. Or are they going to have to sacrifice some weaponry? The bomb is only just going down. So this round has taken quite some time. And as we said, it gives Anonymo uh, an amount of time to just talk about what's happening. Snatching might be able to pick up something. He might be able to pick up a, a rogue AK here. He does manage to isolate Pank. But I feel as though there's enough of sharks around to maybe just wrestle that back. But what do you do if you're Anonymo here? I mean, uh, we haven't seen enough at this stage of the game to, to make those adjustments that... To be honest, Anonymo were just losing jewels in mid. That's that's how they started to uh, crumble a little bit. Snatchy's chance is gone. Shots on both sides of the head of Pank there. Pank will connect. So five alive. Big end to the round for Sharks just to stabilize the economy nice and early. Of course, it's Anonymo's economy that will be questioned throughout the half, especially in rounds like this where... They've saved across a couple of deagles. Some players bought down a little bit more than others. And it is just going to be that half investment again. Yep. And Snatchy just trying to pile as much money into the bank as possible. Get himself an AWP for future rounds. As fast approach toward the A round. That boost just trying to open things up for Sharks. But just a very default round coming out from Anonymo. Nothing special. Nothing funky. They do have some utility. So, namely the double flash on Kyla could be the threat. And with his positioning over towards that A-bomb site, mm. he doesn't really have the numbers around him to make something work, but this is so patient from Sharks. It's waiting out everything. Yeah. Such a deep approach from mid. Oh, Zevi. All the patience does not net the kill. Like he wasn't expecting to be swung at that particular moment. Again, Anonymo now. That's some info gain. Snatchy going to put some pressure into Pal now after Panks mm. held it for a whole minute. Oh my. The rotation back over towards the B side of things. Sharks. Are they just going to regroup at mid and send it together or B split? Looks yeah. like that's the call. I think the uh, information from uh, Snatchy is going to come way too late. Yeah, you can see the rotation going over towards B, so a lot of work to be done here for Snacks. See if he's going to be able to buy some time for the CTs to flood out of market. Molly towards the door, and Snacks going to be able to get himself that three tap. No head chop for a second. It's tanked to trade. Molly to empty. Innocent just trying to hold control as the back of sight. Kyler jumps out towards the bin there. Luca ready and picks himself up. A nice double. Is there anything on offer for Innocent and Snatchy, though? Snatchy's probably got the better position. So at this moment, you would suspect the call is for exits. Innocent's got armor. It's obviously going to be of use in future rounds, so he's probably more interested in saving. And, well, where do Sharks exit? I would believe that B Halls is going to be where it's at. So he might be able to net something, but likely is he's going to be overwhelmed. Ooh, close range. Pank very worried. And on 16 HP, he's waiting for the rest of the boys to come around and try to save him. 2 HP after the explosion <laughs> from the bomb. He is very fortunate to be alive there. But great patience to do so. Yep. 
CT economy starting to make that slow rise and mm. built it up over the last few rounds where they've only been able to buy in some pistols, some armor, and rinse and repeat for the last three rounds. They've been able to finally get an AWP in the hands of Snatchy once again. And Snack. So the double AWP roll of the dice is here in the mid half. And I mean, this could be a turning point. Innocent's going to go aggressive on the back of these smokes up towards mid. He does have little cover from his teammates. So it is a bit of a solo dolo play. Such an awkward Ooh. smoke to play around, and Snatchy finds the line to Luca. Innocent still holding his ground here as well, waiting for a second man to come through. Smoke finally fading. Nonimo end up with that mid control. Nice little pop flash from Snacks as well to put himself onto the line, and it works. Zevi not expecting that aggression. Nice solo play. Yeah, prior to the addition of Snatchy, Snacks was running that AWP for them. So, wasn't spotted out JNT, fortunately for JNT. Something that Anonymo are doing is a whole lot of one ways. Uh, what we saw on map one was a whole lot of smokes being used just to play around, especially on that T side to get into sites. But now we're seeing Anonymo do it as one ways here over towards apartments. I think we saw a little bit of that at mid before as well. But Snacks now going to be stuck on the short side of Ooh. Balcony. JNT. Almost open up that B site. Pank falling, and it's a two on four. Sharks, they're going to be thinned out. JNT, 15 HP to play with, and not a lot of time. Can't cross to the bomb. Anonymo with another four alive and a fourth round on the board. And they recover that double AWP setup too. So that was tossed across as Rallon picks that AWP up. And this is quite a nice flick from Snatchy. Nice little gap in the smoke too mm. at top mid to just provide some cover for Innocent to get away after potentially robbing the nest, but it's another round here where we see Zevi on the AWP. This is the T-side economy still flowing quite nicely on the back of quite a few rounds where Anonymo, as we said, they just felt the brunt of inflated costs on the CT-side. Just a vast precedence yeah. in mid from Sharks once again, though. Straight up mid, not really contested by Anonymo. Not that they can with the smokes everywhere. Oh, no. There it is, Zevi. Cracks himself an opening hit. Over towards short, just like that. The accelerator's hit, and Luca's all the way up short already. Oh. How's the timing? He's threaded the needle perfectly. Snatchy scopes and is not able to see the peak. Innocent, at least, able to go for that early rotation to slow things down from Sharks and goes out for a second, spots the bomb, and now okay. in come that... Uh, in comes the communications, in comes those rotations as well. Reels in stopping them, though, as he lurks his way here at the bottom of Con. Yep, so that means a long rotation is in order for Snacks over towards B. Bomb is still down, though, so... Just going to wait for Pank to join JNT at this B bomb site. Going to try and fight as a trio rather than just the individuals they are. Reels is actually going to go <laughs> through the B hall. So again, Innocent, he's picked up a triple here. And um, he's just dragging Anonimo in this round. That line as well. So nasty. Not going to be able to back it up for a fourth, though. And now it's Snacks in this one versus two. And he's got the info on where the man without the bomb is. Molly to default, trying to split up the troops. Coverage there, Molly. Forcing Pank back towards the van pillar. Ooh. Another one going to be thrown as well. He's opted for the rifle after shooting the AWP. Trying to play some mind games. Smoke here. Just sharks trying to play around it. Back to back. Good positions to trade. But as the smoke fades, we'll see if this one works out. Off oh, angle works enough. Pank connecting. Very solid play from sharks to bring in the lead. Five to four. And Anonimo just... Slightly put back by that round mm. in terms of economy. Snatchy's going to be able to buy. He's had to forego head armor. A little bit of utility maybe. Just squeezes out a flash to maybe get himself out of trouble. So Anonymo now really have worn away all of that buffer of the economy that they spent so long building. Doesn't take long to whittle away. And they're actually... Looking to contest Sharks here in mid-connector. Oh, flash out. Innocent going to be able to pick up the first. Luca to trade and JNT bringing the tides back in Sharks' favour. Rylan Snatchy and Snacks now looking for a way to equalise and Rylan's going to find it perfectly. Some timing onto Luca. Luca really does try and push at any hint of a gap <laughs> yeah. in the defence, doesn't he? It works. 
fifty percent of the time. But that's a that's actually not a bad percentage because it creates more opportunities than not. Oh. Oh. That was one of those positions as well where Snacks was trying to push back and almost had one, almost had the other, but he ended up not having any. So Snatchy now clearing out A main with 50 seconds on the clock. Thinks he might be able to smash back to B, but at the same time, Sharks shoulder to shoulder looking just to trade this one through. And they've got that B site too. Util being thrown. Snatchy's going to hear that one. Probably opt just to keep the AWP alive. Or at least try and do more financial damage to Sharks. That would be the goal here. The expense of losing his own AWP, though, might be a bit too much for him mm. to to risk. But you can see Sharks, though, they are keen to take weapons out of the hands of an Onimo. He spent that entire time scoped. <laughs> So uh -oh. much patience. Oh, pulls the AWP out in time. Hits a couple of hops and then misses some as well. Not quite expecting Pank right that close on the corner. Trying to pre-aim the actual corner of a main. And there you have it. Sharks, two-round lead. Six rounds on the T side already. This is where you want to be if you're a Sharks fan. Absolutely. They've got the city economy on the back foot. They've got a nice lead now floating field. Oof. Timing on that was unfortunate. I felt as though... Uh, if the push didn't come through mid-connector, Snacks may have actually been able to get the jump on Zevi. But this is a timeout now for Anonimo on a round where they're likely not to buy, to be honest. They might might come in with pistols. Mm. The lost bonus is up there. So, you know, what do they do? What do they buy in? I mean, Snatch is probably not going to invest too much. They want to get him as many shots with the AWP in these rounds as possible. Mm. So maybe some upgraded pistols here, or do they just play the long game? Do they full eco it and just go for as many gun rounds Honestly, as they can? If you go for a P250 and just Kev, or even these digs, like you get a couple of ruffles out of the hands of Sharks, then they're in a pretty rough financial position yeah. uh, going into the next couple of rounds. Pank, yeah, he's got 7K in the bank, but you're looking at your reels and your Luca, 1700, 1900. They're not going to be able to buy themselves for too many rounds in a row. Especially with no round loss bonus to play with. Now, 30 seconds in, and Luca is already all the way up. Cat spotted, though. But as this is happening, Anonimo, they've got the three men over towards B, and that Ooh. apps control. So Snatchy going forward gets pal control. This is actually a rough position for Sharks to be in, because where do you go? They've got a filter through A ramp and mid. And to be honest, if I was Sharks right now, I'd be looking for some jewels. Oh. Rowland fully aware of Luca's position. He's heard that drop in a window. JNT able to find the head of Snatchy, but a big flank coming through already from Kyler. Things getting awkward for Sharks as Innocent takes another head. He's hunted Ooh. it. Rowland pushing the smoke and drawing oh. the attention for Kyler to make this AWP happen. No. Oh, he's missed the shot, JNT. Flicking around in time, but the numbers still there for Anonimo. Oh, that is disastrous. Maybe that comes back to bite them. Could have taken the Deagle shot. Oh. As Luca finds another, and now it's back to two versus two. Innocent, he's got to do the work. Snacks has only got that USP, and he's been Ooh. taken down. So the bomb plane is going to come in. The cover is there. The AK is on the ground for the taking. Spot it. Oh, and that is a round gone, begging for Anonimo. Kyler, I feel like he's hard done by. He's made the logical choice. Take the AWP, but... That came back to bite him. It just took away precious milliseconds. Mm, it was one of those situations where JNT, for whatever reason, he has that inkling. He's like, hang on, something's not right here. Yeah. Looks to his right, sees an AWP looking right towards him, and then gets the shot off just before he's going down himself. So, Sharks, big salvaged round. The sixth sense. That being said, having a look at the economy again, there was some damage done to it. Three kills. Double Donimo up. finally back onto their uh, buy round as well. Double AWP. Snacks. The first round they ran this double AWP, it actually uh, it plagued Sharks right now. They're going to run boost to get over that mid connector. I get this wrong though. Step too far from Reels in. Ooh. Ooh. Sna chance for Snatchy. He wasn't too happy about missing that shot. Definitely Post. not. Go for the wards. 
Pal instead. Looks like he might just re-aggress here. Towards the bottom of the corner, looks like someone's trying to smoke for him, but it's dangerous. Gets knocked down to 19 HP. Still a fighting chance with the Ooh. off, though. Ooh. There's danger. Four sharks as they lurk their way up. Nades just coming from left, right, and damn center. Reels in wanting to smash his way to stairs, but innocent. Oh, they're both playing a dangerous game. Everyone in the smoke. There's four bodies here, and sharks will come out the victor with an extra. Wow. Zevi as well, sharp onto Rallin, and things are going wrong for Anonymo. Snatch is still giving him a lifeline, though. He is still up on this side of <laughs> Snacks. Runs into a steamroller. And that is the round. Done and dusted. Great round from Zevi. Yeah. Big stabilization frags. Takes them right into the majority for the half. Eight bangers on the board. And if they keep this up, Sharks could definitely be on for 11 T-sided rounds on Mirage. Anonymo. Fortunately for them, they did manage to take the first map of the series because they might have to rely on Nuke to get back into the game. Hmm. Isn't that a tantalizing prospect? Mm. I thought uh, Anonymo may have been able to provide a better show on Mirage. Certainly on the starting on the CT side, right? You don't necessarily want to lose eight rounds on your CT side of Mirage. That doesn't set you up nicely in the series. But as you said, it's not the end of the world. They've still got Nuke up their sleeve. Yeah. Single jungle smoke. Or sharks. Nice. He's even got a gap in it as well, so they're playing around with this one, hoping that Innocent goes forward, which he will. Their smoke comes in a little bit later, so it's just those right side pair of U tilt. Sharks progressively just getting their players out towards Sandwich. Tetris as well, JNT. Going under Balcony. Kyler able to fight for one, but Luca doubles it right back. Rylan, he's going to fall on the pixel line, and the AWP is reigning supreme in the hands of Zevi, but not for long. Snacks. Puts him down a notch, and Snatchy still here in PAL. He's been here a few times, but the tease, it looks like no one's actually looking this direction. There's the freebie. Luca head showing, and now the AWP retrieved as well, but it's a distraction that Pank took advantage of. Every time they go for the AWP, it's a poison <laughs> chalice. Oh, it is. Now, odd angle for JNT. The offline up on the bench. It's worked on the snacks and sharks. A very solid showing on the anti eek Now, do they go with snacks on the double up? Yes, they do. Look at that seesaw economy on the CT side, Mac. It's really started to, to pain them. Rounds 10, rounds 12. They were feeling the brunt of it. And, well, sharks have had a much better trajectory. They've been able to just build constantly. And you're right, I think uh, an 11-4 score could be on the card, just based on momentum alone. As you see, big investment coming through from Anonymo, and they've got to make it work. That's a nice little airstrike here from Kyler, a double in his hands. And now, ooh, Luke has been sharp. Can he bail Sharks out of this situation? He's in position too. Innocent very worried about his position. Kyla falling, and they know that Innocent's still hanging around here somewhere. That smoke certainly could have helped him get out. 17 wow. HP, make it zip as Luca connects for another. Two for him, one for Zevi, affecting the flank. Now, Rollin spots him, and he is that first shot. Swings with it. Zevi, though, great movement to pick himself up another. And just like that, Sharks, they're back in with a shot. It was a 5v2, and now it's a one-on-two snacks. Can he save it? That is the most frustrating round to lose if you're Anonymo. Oh, yeah. And so much work to be done still. And, I mean, there's still 50 seconds on the clock. They've got so much time to do what they like. Yeah, they've got to retrieve the bomb. But Snacks, he's not sure. He doesn't have the information as to whether or not the bomb's been collected. So mm. he's just working with what he knows. And he's just going to double down on this A-bomb site, simply wait it out. He's going to chance it. He's got a one-in-two chance of being correct. Look how much. Utility Sharks still have with 30 seconds left. Picking up everything off those dead bodies. Another smoke to cry, try and create some extra space. 20 seconds though. So Sharks will be committing to this A site. Molly's all the advanced positions. Firebox, Palace. They don't have to worry about those two angles to get this bomb planted. And Sharks are going to be staying shoulder to shoulder here as well. If Zevi pokes his head up, oh, he could be in trouble. Tommy. And look at this coordination, Jim. Both of them. Worried about this flank coming through. 
and in solid positions to swing off the contact. Zevi, he's been sharp with the orb, but how's he going to be able to go with the rifle? Snacks didn't see the snout of the AK, and he's opted just to save the orb. Sharks, what a huge round for them to pull back. He's got $50 too, so really important that Snacks is actually able to oh! save here. No, that's not good. He's all right. He's safe. And he Back on home base. Hits the rugs a million sale in underpass. <laughs> well, there you have it. Into the final round of the half. The impact player there. 1x bet, Luca. And rightfully so, picking up those two kills that really turned the tides of the round. And now final round of the half, you do have four A1Ss in the hands of Anonimo, opting for the firepower. Not a whole lot of util to play with, so it looks like they're just going to try to... A little bit aggressive here over towards A, mate. Mm. Prog Smoke, I think... Was that supposed to be one for A, mate? I, to be honest, I think it fell a little bit short. They've got something going on. I mean, quick mention too to... Luca and uh, Zevi, they've yeah. been the players to bail out Sharks mid-round. Very important frags oh, coming yeah. in these situations where they're at a numbers deficit. That's a great little smoke abuse mm -hmm. from Rallon. Just that gap in the smoke proving to be wide open. Wait, wait that was Luca. This is Luca. We're watching Luca hang walk on. past Rallon and he's in market. I was like, hang on, what, what's going on here? So trigger discipline comes through, there's info, and there's almost a B site on the menu. Snacks not going to be able to react, react to that in time. They're looking for someone else here, but there's no one innocent th thought that he threaded the needle by getting all the way through T-spawn. But now the bomb is down at apps, and Luca has so much map control. This is... This is confusing at best, to be honest. And <laughs> this is for us, right? We see what's going on. As a player, that is a great flash. As Luka now, that Molotov is just going to push the CTs back. They're going to have to wait that out. They don't have the smoke to expend on it because they want to try and use it in the retake situation. Snatchy's taking a heap of damage just trying to get into the site here. Is Innocent now has arrived through B Hall. So it's on the retake. They've got to go for it. And they've got the numbers as well. Late rotation up short. But again, it's the time that they have to worry about. It's the last round of the half. They have to go for it. They have to find some kind of info. Snatchy able to trade, but no one's on the defuse. And JNT is in the perfect position to clutch it through. 11 rounds for Sharks at the half. And we still got another whole half of gameplay to get to.
Well, if you didn't have enough excitement at the end of the half with Luca just threading the needle, being a damn nuisance for an honor, mate. We've got another half of gameplay to show all of you at home. Uh, sides flipped, of course. Anonymo now on the attack, but Sharks have definitely put themselves in pole position to close out Mirage. Already with 11 rounds going into that counter-terrorist side. Let's see what they're going to be able to do here. They won't be committing uh, or changing, dictating the pace, rather, here on the pistol because they're on the defense. Mm, Innocent and Rallant hold the key to this round. We see the smoke flash. On Innocent, but look at this probing push from Sharks. Snacks, they don't know he's there. Oh, he might be able to actually pick oh. up two. Oh, awkward no. and Hank. That's like watching me play a game. I'm like, oh, easy. Freest kill of my life. And that happens. Hank, nuts reaction to get that back on the board. Anonimo finding the A site for free, but Sharks, they're looking to play the numbers, just busting in coordinated smoke burst. And it's worked for a couple. Innocent still alive with that P250. And he's starting oh. to tap some heads as well. Just before you bloody blink, you'll miss it. There you have it. 11 for Sharks and 5 now for Anonymous. I thought that was all going wrong as soon as Snacks gets done in B-Halls like that. And, I mean, in the meantime, it created a nice distraction because the focus was still already over towards B. They were pushing for info. Yeah. But... They got themselves onto that A-bomb site nice. They get a bomb plant here. No frills approach. They got two MAC-10s, though. So let's see if Snacks and Snatchy can farm things up. They're the two players that are likely to run the AWP, too. Yeah. I think my favorite part of the round was that I said Sharks aren't going to dictate the pace, and then three of them pushed into the back of apps to run fast. And, ah, what do I know, hey? I'm just a big, dumb idiot. Now, Snacks, looking to take some con control. Rowan's creeping up Cat, Innocent, not too far behind either. And the bomb in the back of Apartments means it looks like it's going to be some form of fast B split. And that is exactly what we're going to get here. Deagle taps for two, but it's not going to be able to connect for that crucial third. Snatchy picking up first blood for the Mac 10. Luca, however, no. has been hitting bloody everything. Two headshots found and he's looking for more, knowing that Tyler's low. But it's going to be Snatchy to save him. The bomb is actually going back to A. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. you got Kyler's just been done dirty. I mean, Snacks has got forward position, yes, but he's only got a Mac 10. Ooh. Let's see how thorough Sharks are with their corner clearance if they come all the way back through CT. They, they looked at that right side of market, so Snacks could be in trouble here. He's the man with the... A little bit of extra HP, but the offline works perfectly. He could spot that shadow and he's found himself two. Now, Zevi does have this AK, so it's doable. Oh, sorry, this <laughs> Galil, it looked a little bit better than it did. But he's going to have to land this. He could land it on Snatchy, but Ooh. I think he just weighs up his options. Might reposition through jungle, but no kit. Chances dwindling. Damage, not quite enough. Snacks tanking two bullets and then picking up a reversal on three HP. AK retrieved for him. And Anonymo, two in a row to kick off the half, which was, you know, pretty good considering I thought Sharks might have been back in it with Luca smashing his way out and hunting for that third kill on the B site. He just <sighs> does that, doesn't he? Luca just. <laughs> he is, just eh? Oh, he just appears with two frags, and all of a sudden, sharks have this newfound resurgent energy. Okay, Mac 10 of Snatchy is going to try and break on open to this A bomb site. Rowland's just going to play the smarter, longer line, and they should be able to get onto A quite nicely. Ooh. It's a firefight, and their guns are out right now for Anonymo. JNT catching that nade, knocks him down to 3 HP. Thought he might have had some kind of space to swing out mid, but. No matter where he went, he was in trouble. Zevi, not going to be able to get anything done with the USP. Pank, however, did find a kill and got his hands on a very nice piece of weaponry. Mm. AK here, and he's going to tap some heads. Ah. Goodbye. There you go. So he heard the bullets from the MAC-10 and thought, you know what? I am probably dead. So you're not going to get this gun either, hey? No retrieval whatsoever mm -hmm. on that. That's AK. 
that's another round there where it's been expensive for snacks at least. But Anonimo starting to chip away at it. As we do come into the first gun round for Sharks mm -hmm. on this half, and we not surprised to see a Torp in the hands of Zevi. However, Snatchy, who's been busy farming his money, will pick it up for Anonimo. So let's just see what Anonimo do on their first gun round. Looks like they are very interested in coming to presence here at mid. Sharks, what have they got for us? 2-3 split. For the most part, giving up that mid control. Just Pank making sure there's no push up the catwalk. Zevi opting to play from short instead of window. He may see this opening abused if the unders push comes in time. Rowland, though, is going to be leaving snacks all by his own at lowest. Smoking the window. It's an extra info for Sharks that someone's lurking towards the top of mid. Flash to Con. Just slow rotations from both sides. Oh, Zevi. Sure that tick damage has been heard by Rowan in underpass. Well, the scope has, surely, but it hasn't been communicated. Snatchy falling and Anonimo torn apart within seconds. Bomb now on the other side of the molly here in jungle, and there's nothing Anonimo can do. Kyla, oh, it's the worst position he could possibly be in. Oh. Finds one, but not another. And Sharks, just like that, they flip the switch. They find the triple in seconds, and it's 12 on the board. Anonimo all filtered up through that connector, and it just yeah. proved to be a killing field. I guess if you want to put it in Shark terms, it was a feeding frenzy. We've made it through a map and a half. And you're going to do it to me now. Look, if Sharks win the series, bin. Sink or swim for both of these teams. JNT playing a tight line here. Does that pank right towards him on the backside. Kyla, oh, trying to play a dangerous game there, but the flash is not going to be enough to create that space. It's going to take a few sharp shots, and Snatchy's not going to provide that one either. Rowland coming through, barely tagged, still with 73 HP to play with, and he's going to be able to get that trade as well. Bomb retrieved, although, as I say that, he's ran straight past the damn thing. And Sharks, they've got Zebby and Reels in to look to close it out. Now, that bomb is sitting in the smoke, so it is technically retrievable without being seen. And if you're rallying right now, maybe reposition through Palace, hope that the CT split on it. But right now, they're happy and they're content to just sit in mid group up. The question is, though, can Rallin, can he pull this round away from the jaws of defeat? Well, he's chosen the right site to go to to at least set himself up for success. But if what we've seen from Sharks so far is when they do go for these two-on-ones, they're always nice and close together. Always have that rifle ready to trade. Put the AWP in first. 14 seconds and Sharks happy just to commit towards that A site. Peeking for info, but they hear that bomb go down. Now Rowland has absolutely no information at all. He might have heard a footstep to mark it, but the CT spacing not as good as expected. Oh. Reels and getting played with, trying to jump out the window. Over the top he goes, and Rowland knocks them both down to keep Anonimo in the game. That is a very flaky round from Sharks, I will tell you that. Yeah. And <laughs> Anonimo now have uh, cracked the egg, at least for some of uh, the money situation, because this round, if they roll on through, this is the final roll of the dice for the economy of Sharks. I mean... Hanks back on that UMP. I don't know if it's as effective on a Mirage as it might have been on Vertigo, but we'll see. Could be a blessing in disguise. He's gone to the right position to make it a very effective weapon. Close here at A main. Wide off angle. JNT looking to take that contact. Although, as I say it, now he moves back towards Pal. Flash in. Smoke dropped. Big contest, though. Look at Sharks. They have rotated over towards A. 
Now, I do like to see that reactive util from Sharks rather than, you know, just dropping an early A main smoke. Getting some more value for that money. Anonimo. Throwing some fake util at the top of mid. Snacks looking to lurk B late, but again, Innocent just showing face here at A main. Flash in. There's that UMP impact we were looking <laughs> for. JNT with the coverage onto Kyler as well, so there's absolutely no chance for the early trade. Snatchy. Misses the opportunity, but that is the info that Sharks were looking for. Yeah. Big rotation over towards this A-bomb site. Works. Such an impressive flash onto the A-ramp too. Perfect mm. timing. And the cover was good from JNT to allow Pank to do the damage with the UMP. And they're just happy to stay in their positions right now. There's no other activity anywhere else on the map. So, Anonymo have got a fashion this Whoa. round. That is... Nice off-angle play by the two CTs. <laughs> Tank's good for four in that round. Dear me. Could not ask for too much more. I was just about to compliment, you know, the high-low setup from top of ticket and yeah. the headshot line. And then Pank, he's like, you know what? I know we've got a great little crossfire going, but I'm pretty hungry, mate. And we're just going to be swinging straight in. Tapping those heads. And it's beautiful. For all the Brazilian fans out there. A five-round lead now as we get very deep into the source. Timeout for Anonimo. And they're deciding what they want to do here because they pretty much have to concede the round. They're all on double eco. Oh, it's just no. such an awkward place to be in. No conceding here. No. They're going to buy into it. Innocent's bought. He's invested everything he's got. To be fair, this is kind of the buy they had that they won in the previous, except I think Rowland had the AK. Mm. They managed to trade it through, bit, pick it up. A bit of chaos over towards A. Let's see if we see something similar, although seeing a few players looking over towards that B site. So we could be in for a rush. Two smokes purchased. Could see the Macca smokes early. Who bloody knows what's going on here? Yeah, there's that uh, catwalk smoke too. So at least there is going to be presence from Snacks towards mid. Now, he's not going to push too fast. In fact, he's just going to sit in the smoke and allow the rest of the team, who are having to wait out utility, wait out the Molotov at the back of B. And here we go. Reels him to be in trouble. Well, he's backing himself, and he gets out the window scot free. Under arm and the smoke on the drop as well. And this short push, it's, it's there. It exists. But unfortunately, Snacks doesn't. He's deleted by Luca's A1S. And Anonimo. One molly splitting up the troops just makes it that much more difficult to make the split happen. So the force buy that they had to rely on to try to keep themselves in this game has gone awry for now. But look, I'm looking at Ralan, the clutch master of Anonimo, to try to make this happen. It's a very tense standoff at B. Mm. No opportunity is being given freely. And Anonymous are trying to form a firing squad of their own. But I'm um, liking the way Sharks are playing this. They, you know, they have to just chill, sit back, let Anonymo try and make something work. I mean, Anonymo just got destroyed by trying something a little bit faster. And Sharks are looking impressive on Mirage. Zevi barely moves the muscle. Cold as ice. He picks up the first kill of two. And Sharks, 14 on the board. Six-round lead, making Mirage very much look like their map pick. Now, this is going to be that full eco for Anonymo so they can get something going into the final couple of rounds. Sharks shouldn't have too hard of a time here, but we'll see what Anonymo can do with Glocks. Looks like it's the B rush and hoping to get that bomb plant over towards A. He, he wasn't spotted on the cross there. This is bold from Snacks, though. Huh. I mean, I... I, I was wrong. Off, yeah. I thought it was that B rush, but... It's Unders instead. Anonymo looking for mid control with Glocks and just one or two P250s there. Snatchy's actually managed to slide his way into window. And Pank's got no idea about it. Not going to get checked for a while. Timing could work out here. It's like you're looking at the chess pieces all put into the right positions. And look, how's the timing here? 
Pila ends up getting spotted. It's a good enough distraction to find one, but it's going to be traded back for two. Another jump into window, which has been fully cleared by Anonymo, but Sharks, they really love to play on the extreme parts of the map. But as that has all happened, by the way, look where the bomb is. Mm. It's in kitchen, and Sharks, they're happy to hold it here. And the fish don't fry in the kitchen. Has reels and has all the time in the world to play with. There's Snatchy. He's got to get a wriggle on. He will not be able to collect the bomb. And that is it. They're just going to go down like that. This is where Anonymo need to stand up. Let's just see what they roll in with. They don't have options for the AWP. Mm. Unless Snatchy goes entirely glass cannon, it's not going to happen. And I mean, he's weighing it up, right? If he's going to purchase that AWP, it's a last second purchase. As, oh, he's just going to go back towards the AK. Looking for something faster here as we do see. Okay, endpoint. They pushed Sprout to overtime and Inferno. That means endpoint are actually potentially going to win that series 2-0. Check that out on the B stream if you can. As Snacks is going to push up connector. Oh, okay. This is actually something we haven't seen for a while, and that's Anonymo getting an opening. However, just oh. traded back pretty damn quickly. Ralin already down to 19 HP as well, but Snacks answers with another. Can he lift the boys around him? Can he keep Anonimo in the game here? He's looking to maybe catch a timing. After that top con smoke fades. Zevi as well, similarly. Need to peek out into mid. As he Pinocchio though, Snatchy. Gone for a little bit of movement, so I dare say scope could have been spotted. Oh, innocent. There's the bomb, and it's going to be stuck up on the balcony. He's found himself another as well, and the two T's looking to make their way up. Con, they're going to be torn apart. Zevi, huge play for the man he was on for the ace. Reels and steals it, but he also locks down Mirage and Sharks. They're going to be sending this all the way to map number three.